Hi, Mister. This is Group Four with the speaker of Honan Ming, Pei Yun Li, and Zhi Zhizhou. Our talk pick is about the new life, comparison, and the transition between Chinese style and American style. The difference between foods, weather, and the culture. First, we come to our first topic about foods. There are a lot of difference between American foods and Chinese foods. In Ch in China. In China, there are just so many options we can choose, so many ways we can choose to cook the food. For the first months, come to America, hamburgers looks like the only options to choose in the high street. There are only limited ways to treat raw materials here, either boiled or fried. However, to eat in the tradition seems not a bad idea after a few days. Also, salads and a simple boiled broccoli were rare in the Chinese dinner table. I mean to it, that's true. The food style is way healthier than the one in China. If we ignore the French fries here, the fried chickens, and those fast foods, I say. Still, it seems that most of us have the first option in the Chinese style restaurant in the high street. But I'm sure we, when we get used to it and know about know more about American food, we could see we would see how amazing it is. Like steaks, oyster, those are the things that American foods can do better than the, than the Chinese one. Yeah, well, for me, oyster could, could be the best options. Sometimes, you know, the price. Okay, we come to our second biggest second topic about the weather. Weather. Some of us come from the north part of China, which had already experienced the freezing weather in their hometown. Snow. Ice and the coats are the most common things in the street. However, some of us come from the south part of China. Coat gotta go extra, extra. road hit the home himi like a mafia. And snow is the thing's most bizarre. Some of us even has not seen the snow of decades for decades, like me. Weather may seem different for some of us, but not all of us. Once upon a time, I, I was told by the Uber driver, he told he tell me that uh, if you, you if you're gonna fall in love with the weather in the Ohio, you're gonna get used to it, the freezing temperature, the snow, and all these stuffs. Okay, it seems to come to the third biggest topic about the culture. About the culture, there are tons of things we can say about the culture. How we wear, how we think. How we live, you know, how we talk in a in the in the private in the, in a privacy conversation, wearing style, thinking style, and the living styles are all the things that are different, and show difference. It seems everything come into a different stage. It's hard to pick out something specific to say, like, hey, that exactly shows how the culture difference. That's hard to find an example of it in the daily life. Probably until later we can see some more specific things. In. Then we can talk. To, then we talk. We can talk about about them. The moment we our we, we meet our roommates and the moment we talk to our classmates. Also the moment when we sit in the restaurant. These are the moments that the culture shock falls into our faces. But you know, after time passed by, <coughs> we all gonna be fine. In how we think. How we eat, and you know the weather. Uh, and now in the Ohio states, I can finally see the snow. It's the thing I never seen in my hometown. But after decades, I mean not decades, before I graduate, one years later, two 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 years later, I gonna see the snow snow as the one of the most common things in my life, because I gonna see it so many times now from now on. And for the culture, well, we all gonna get used to it in how we talk, how we think, and we all gonna make some flowering friends in here. Uh, no longer bothered by the culture shock or the uh, homesick, we gonna treat this place as our second home. I say, that's all about it. Thanks. Oh, think, wearing. Yeah, that's all about the culture, and uh, that's all. <laughs>